All right, Jason here from septictank.co.uk and in today's live broadcast, I'm gonna discuss how to build a septic tank or how to make one, how to construct one. And it's a very popular question. Lots of people um, do this if they're going off grid. Lots of people in um, different countries like America, you know, the USA and India ask me, how do you build a septic tank? So I'm going to show you. Now, just bear in mind, right, what I'm about to show you is a really, really, really basic uh, example of how to do it. So if you live in the UK or um, any other place come to that matter, always check with your local planning office first or your building control office um, <laughs> for what the local rules and regulations are. But nevertheless, right, I'm just going to show you a basic outline or design of how you can make or, or, or create and build your own septic tank and soak away. So let's get on with this, okay? So this thing here, <laughs> that is the pipe that comes from your house. So we take it that you've already got a house built or you've got um, an, a designated area where you are going to put your house. So all the wastewater from your property will come down this pipe here. All right. So that's all the wastewater. So if I put, look, if I put waste, wastewater. All right. So that's the wastewater from your property and that will come down a pipe. So at the end of that pipe, this is where you start to build or create your septic tank. So the first thing you've got to do, obviously, right, is you've got to dig a hole. Now, I'm going to try and draw this really straight. I'm not the best artist in the world, right? So let's make this. All right, there we go. All right, so you basically, first of all, you dig a hole, right? <laughs> All right, if, if it's a bit skew -iffy, all right, I can't help that. As I said, I, I'm more of a better septic tank consultant than I am an artist. But the point is, right, dig a hole. All right, once you've dug the hole, right, obviously that grass line there will disappear, like so. All right, now once you've dug your hole, all right, once you've dug the hole, right, once you've done that, you then line it with either bricks or breeze blocks. So you've got, if you imagine you've got one, two, three, four sides to this septic tank, like in a room, right? Then you either line it with breeze blocks or bricks or concrete shuttering, okay? So if you imagine that's, that's your sides there, so that's concrete, okay? That's concrete there, like so. Brilliant. And there you go. So you've got the inside, right, of your septic tank. Look at that. How cool is that? All right. Now, you'll notice here that uh, now you've got, you can go, you've got quite a few options at this stage, right? You can either leave it with one big hole, right, or you can put partitions in to create more chambers. Now, if I just basically quickly show you how a septic tank works, right? So all the poo and the wee and all the solids, right, come into the main cavity here, right? And your tide line will be roughly the here, okay? So that will roughly be your tide line. And over time, all the solids will build up on the bottom of your septic tank, all right? And then what you would normally do here, about here, you'd have an outlet pipe, all right? And this outlet pipe will go to your soak away. All right, which I'll show you a bit more about in a minute. So that pipe, if I put there, goes to soak away, okay? Now, as the wastewater enters the septic tank, you've got something in there called suspended solids. And that's basically made up of all the fat and the grease and the number twos and carrot peelings and debris from sanitary towels and condoms and stuff like that. And over time, all that stuff will build up, right, on the bottom of the floor, all right? And over time, or although it looks like just water, it becomes like, I suppose, like a soup, right? Full of bits and bobs, right? And 
That most septic tanks only have one chamber now and they have like a little T piece at the end that you can put on. It looks like it's called a T piece because it looks like a T piece and there's a T piece at the end and that normally stops about 80% of the solids, you know, the peas and the carrots and all the other floaty things going to your soak away, right? But if you're going to make a septic tank, I really suggest you try this, right? All right, you create... If I just, uh, if I just delete that tide mark first, you'll see where I'm going with this, right? All right. So what I would do if this was me, and I was making a septic tank, knowing what I know, I would create two partitions inside. Now these partitions are, can be made from concrete shuttering. They can be made from bricks or breeze, breeze blocks. So basically, how they work is like this. The water will pour into the first chamber and fill up. Now the majority of the debris, right, will fall down to the bottom here. This is the suspended solids, this is the poo, this is the carrot peelings, this is the condoms, this is all the other debris building up and all the sludge and the fat and the grease in the first chamber. All right, now, if when you create a petition, what you'd have, you'd create another T piece and put it there, like so. Then, once this fills up with water to a certain level, it will then fill here. But because you filtered most of the poo and the wee, uh, the fat and the grease and the sludge and the poo in the first chamber, right? By the time you get to this chamber, there's half as much debris, right, floating around in the second chamber. So it's almost you've like filtered it off, right? And then what you do in your second partition, like that, oh, and that would have a T-piece on the end there, like so. There you go. And then the water from the second chamber would then go into the third chamber here. And the fat and the grease and the sludge will be a lot less, all right, on the bottom and in the th third chamber. So, um, because I actually designed that initially with the one chamber in mind, what would happen now is that the third T-piece would be about there. All right, so you'd put a pipe in there. That would go through, and then that would be your new level to your soak away or your drain field or your leach field, whatever you want to call it, okay? So that's your tide mark. So the water would reach that level and then it would make its way down there into the soak away. So if I was making a septic tank, if I was building one, I would build it, as I said, with three chambers. And so typically the time that emptying intervals will differ but typically you know some people will put a stick in so if you imagine this is instead of the grass now this is your this is your lid and so on top of your lid there you'd have kind of three manhole chambers All right so you can lift the lid of chamber one here and you can see how much sludge is in the bottom and then depending, you know, the tide mark on, on, on basically to these chambers will always be about three quarters tall, right? But you can put a stick in. Um, if you imagine you put your stick in, all right, so it will tell you whether the sludge is a quarter of the way up, half the way up, three quarters of the way up. When it gets to about a quarter or half the way up, I would then get it sucked out. I don't know why I keep uh, <laughs> rubbing that out. But anyway, so that, if you're going to make a septic tank, right, I recommend you make one like that. It'll last you for, for 100, 200 years, especially if it's made out of concrete or bleeds block. Now, so you've got all your solids going in. You've got uh, your liquids and your solids. You've got your solids settling to the bottom there. You've got your tide line um, of the wastewater. So for the soak away pit, if you, there's loads of different soak away designs, right? But in this instance, for this one, all, generally speaking, is you need is a soak away pit right, and a soak away pit can you see that on there Ooh, just about a soak away pit is basically a pit that 
the outlet pipe from the septic tank goes into. So if I just extend that a bit there, look. All right, if I just extend that. So all the wastewater from here will go into here, right? And this pit would normally be filled with gravel or sand or shingles, stuff like that, right? And um, on top of here, that would generally be soil, right? So you'd put soil on the top. So you'd, you'd basically fill it three quarters with, with, um, with sand or shingle or gravel, right? And what happens is that the water will then leave the uh, soak away pipe. It'll make its way down in between the gravel and the other medium. And then it will soak away naturally into the soil. Now, obviously, again, as I said, depending on where you live, which county you live in, which country you live in, which state you live in, they have different rules and regulations as to what kind of soakaways you can or can't, um, you know, connect to a septic tank. But I'm just showing you a really basic principle here. Basically, all the wastewater comes in with all the number ones and the number twos and the fat and the grease and the sludge. You filter it off. By the time it gets to the soakway, it's, it's probably 90, 95% cleaner than when it first came in. You have a pit, and in that pit, you've got gravel, you've got shingle, you've got uh, sand, something like that. And all the wastewater will filter through that and then naturally drain away into the soil. So there you go. Those are the fundamental basic principles, right? Or basic design of how to build and make or create your own septic tank. So I hope that's helped. I know it's, I, I apologize if it's really basic and I've oversimplified things, but I didn't want to muddy the water and uh, complicate the issue. But nevertheless, that is how a septic tank and soak away work, regardless whether you spent 50,000 quid on the best flipping, you know, you've got a gold flipping septic tank and a flipping, you know, gold colander for a soak away. The principle is still the same. And personally, you can't build a beat, in my opinion, that is, right? Making a septic tank out of breeze blocks or, or concrete, especially concrete or reinforced concrete. But listen, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this live broadcast today. Um, if you want to see more of me, right? If you want to see more of me, let me just show you this, right? Oh, let me see. Let me just rub this out. If you want to see more of me and you want loads more free, free advice and free tips, then you can either um, type in Septic Tank TV on Google and I'll come up, or you can go to my website, which is septictank.co.uk. All right, so you go there and you'll see loads more different videos that I've done, free advice, free help um, to help you save money and fix your septic tank problems. So listen, thank you very much for watching this broadcast. You take care and I will see you and speak to you again soon. Now let's turn this off. How do you turn this off? I can never work out how to turn this off. Uh, no, that's not how you turn it off. Aha. For more information, just click the link below this septictank.co.uk for free help and advice.